A brand's choice of color is a fundamental element that reinforces both its personality and the qualities of the products and services it offers. Some brands are so iconic that it is possible to identify them from just a single Pantone color without an accompanying logo. Others have even gone so far as to trademark their defining shades. So why do brands place such an importance on color and what impact does it have on the way consumers perceive them? Research compiled by Colorcom suggests that consumers make a subconscious judgment about a person, environment or product within 90 seconds of initial viewing and that between 62% and 90% of that is based on color alone. Further research indicates that brand recognition can be increased by up to 80% by effective use of color throughout marketing, packaging and logo design. While other marketing elements including the targeting of advertising and effective product copy are of importance to a brand's voice, its core individuality and memorability could lie within its carefully selected color palette. Of course, there are always exceptions to every rule, with several potential factors affecting an individual's perception of color. Let's take cultural upbringing as an example. The color red is commonly associated with luck and prosperity throughout Asia, whereas it can represent love, passion or even danger in Western societies. These differences are important to consider when targeting specific geographical or ethnic audiences as part of a marketing strategy. Personal color preference could also have some bearing on a consumer's loyalty to certain brands. The most mutually disliked colors of men and women include orange, yellow and brown. Purple, on the other hand, appear to be the least favorite color of almost a quarter of all male respondents compared to just 8% of female respondents. It is perhaps superficial to suggest that a male customer wouldn't purchase from a well-established brand just because its logo happens to feature the color purple. Brands tread a very fine line when it comes to choosing typically masculine or feminine colors. Using them to market products can lead to consumers feeling patronized and stereotyped, as demonstrated by the infamous Big campaign of 2012. There are certainly strong parallels between color and brand perception across product sectors. Now here are some notable examples that illustrate how color can influence in consumers' impressions of a brand or its products. Now let's start with the obvious example of McDonald's. Its logo is one of the most recognized in the world and its striking red backdrop dominates its branding. It is widely claimed that red is the most appetizing color in the spectrum. Reasons for this vary, from its ability to increase your heart rate and therefore kickstart digestion, to simply an overexposure to coincidentally red food marketing campaigns over time. Either way, you'd be hard pressed to find a fast food outlet that is not dominated by a shade of red as part of its brand strategy. Now Apple have gone through quite an evolution when it comes to their branding and marketing. So let's take a look at their 1977 logo on the left and their present day logo on the right. Now let's pretend the two logos represent two different brands and you're looking to buy a cutting edge laptop with the latest technology seamlessly built into a sleek modern design. Now which brand would you trust more to deliver on these expectations? Unlike bright primary colors, gray is typically emotionless and neutral, making it perfect for mass marketing. For a sophisticated and well-established technology company, gray can be a great choice. It is understated, timeless and reflects the materials from which the products are made. Perhaps this explains why grayscale is adopted so frequently in marketing campaigns throughout the sector. In comparison to black, which can be perceived as masculine and overpowering, this mid-tone gray is in no way divisive. Now, whether you're earning 20,000 or 200,000, you likely use at least one Apple product, a sign of a truly universal brand. At a push, Apple's multicolored logo could pass as creative and unconventional. It certainly appears almost juvenile in comparison to its modern counterpart. Though that's not to say other brands haven't garnered success with similar palettes. Consistency is vital to ensuring a brand has a coherent voice. By choosing a small palette of two to four colors and employing them throughout their marketing channels, brands strengthen their identities and memorability in the eye of the consumer. So next time you shop with your favorite brand, consider why you trust them to deliver on their product or service. You may provide several different reasons depending on past customer experience, but it may also be your subconscious color preferences nudging you in the right direction.